can stop this. Not even you. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Me, the R Streak here, and today. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, the recent news that uh, uh, Michael Ma Michael Condry and Glenn Scoff I don't even know how to pronounce it uh, Glenn um, is moving away from the studio uh, Sledgehammer Studio who created uh, World War Two and they're promoted or I think promoted or um, I think they're gonna replace Eric Hirschberg, the C, the former CEO of Activision. They're gonna replace that guy. Um, my thoughts about this is that you know, uh, Sledgehammer's um, developers, you know, um, both of them, you know, Michael and Glenn, them moving away from the studio is actually alarming because what what did they prove to us or? to Activision that they were worthy of having a huge position of running the company. I mean, what have they proved to us, you know? Everything they've brought to us since they've started making Call of Duty games are all just unfinished, unfinished uh, wallet stealing garbage. Um, except, if, except if Activision is trying to hire someone like, you know, uh, as I've said, Eric, the uh, Eric Hirschberg, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but the former CEO just recently, this year, I think on on January, just recently left Activision. He was the CEO of uh, Activision, and it's it's quite alarming because. The two of them left the studio right at that moment when the former greedy CEO left the Activision. And you know, when they when he left the company, the two of them got in and and you know how I, I've also noticed that the two of them are also tr just really trying to be close to Activ Activision, always thanking Activision about their work and and how they run the company you you see that on twitter and and you don't see that on treyarch and infinity ward you know you don't see that on the staff just those two when you follow them on twitter you always see them like you know um like really thanking them you know like they're really like cherish cherishing activision's work and it's it's quite alarming and I mean, you know, they got in at the middle of call of, of World War II still going on, you know, there, there are still a few DLCs left to produce. I just wondered who are, you know, who are the, the ones that are go going to replace, um, you know, who, who, who's going to manage the team that are going to produce the game's you know, contents because they're going to need main producers, you know, to, to provide, you know, to think about the, the contents what what to what to release and and them leaving the studio that means there isn't any main producers who is going to manage the team uh, the whole studio um that's it i there, there's going to be probably going to be um, a new person who's going to manage uh, sledgehammer i mean glenn is the founder of Sledgehammer, that means he absolutely left the studio, and someone just just got in and go, going to run Sledgehammer. And I think I I just think this is going to be the end of the whole franchise. They they can't even make a fun and rewarding Call of Duty. How much more if they're going to manage on this on the three studios? Because being an executive of a company means they're going to be the ones going to plan everything out when it comes to um, tactics, uh, tactics about making money I, and 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 yes I mean yes I, I, I just realized right now that I think I know the reason why the two of them got Activision's attention 
they've proven themselves as really, really good con artists, con artists, developers. Let, let's just look at you know Advanced Warfare. They, they, they've started the whole supply drop epidemic. They, they, they Call of Duty didn't had that before, and and it was absolutely d disgusting, you know. And, and now what I've discovered also in World War Two is remember in, in Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare, you can earn keys to unlock supply drops, and now you gotta. You gotta use Call of Duty points. I mean, you can earn them by playing, but you gotta be really good at the game to, to earn a freaking supply job. You gotta you gotta play a lot more matches before opening a supply job. Before an Infinite Warfare, you can you can just play two, three matches. You can open a supply job, and now what? What do you get? It's it's nothing. And and, and what do you get inside a supply job? You only get those those ridiculous grips. Oh my, oh, oh my days, man, it's just, it's, it's absolutely d disgusting, you know, um, and, um, yeah, they, they took out the, the key system, the key system was good, and Infinite Warfare was good, and I, and I, and I do believe that Infinite Warfare was better, it was a better game, than World War Two, it, it's just it was it, it had more replayability in Infinite Warfare than this than this crap. It, it's 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 unbelievable. Man. It's, um yeah, and you, you can't even believe how many of the people are still buying Call of Duty points. I mean, try visiting the Facebook groups uh, of of Call of Duty uh, people. A, lo a lot of them. On Facebook, bought Call of Duty points just 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 to open supply drops, right? It's it's absolutely bullshit, and and they never learn because they're gonna buy it again, and mostly they mostly because they're you know they're they're, they're just kids, and <laughs> and not just that because they also complain that they haven't got any weapons on the supply drops. It's 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 absolutely d disgusting. It's like it's like if you buy another Call of Duty game, it feels like you're supporting their fucking schemes. And you know, they also lied to us, you know, duped us, you know, into buying their game. It's it's absolutely disgusting. And and there are the most professional people at conning at and just I uh, just uh, just manipulating us from for buying their games. I, I absolutely got um you know but got got conned by them but they, they tricked me into buying or, oh, or even you know buying the uh, the season pass. It's it's just absolutely garbage because it on PC season pass is late and also the whole game is just boring. The the whole multiplayer is just boring. I can't even play the campaign again because it's just I don't know. There's something about the campaign just that just I don't want to play it again. And you know it's just uh, and that's the reason why Activision gave them the higher position um, to run the greedy company. And yeah, that's that's absolutely the reason. They're they're the guys who's gonna be the next um, the, I'm you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more supply drops in the, the, the coming future Call of Duty games. That's that's absolutely a guarantee because they're the ones who started the whole supply drop epidemic. And now they've, they've taken control Activision. It, it's gonna continue. It's gonna continue. And every Call of Duty that's going to release, it's gonna get more worse. It, every Call of Duty that's gonna release, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. And and I think if, if Black Ops 4 is going to be f going to fail, yeah, if, I think I would really just entirely just quit buying more of them their games I don't get me wrong I'm a huge fan since Call of Duty 4 and seeing this 
all happen. It's just drastic. Except if those, except if those two were just pretending to be bad guys, just wait, <laughs> just waiting for them to, you know, to to infiltrate and get and take control of the whole company to to make the company run better. But I'm 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 not sure. I'm uncertain about that. I'm I'm just. It's it's unlikely that's gonna happen because you know money. I don't know. That that's a lot of money. I don't think you know a studio that that you know earned a lot of billions of money after releasing World War Two just going to leave the studio and and you know work at Activision. I think it's 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 quite you know a bit skeptical when you think about it. But you know. They they left the studio. They're going to well, you know, people are saying that they left the studio great, but you know, they left they left the studio, but they're gonna have full control on the three studios. If if, if Treyarch has an idea that they want to implement, they Michael Michael and Glenn are going to be the ones who's gonna judge if it's going to be really implemented in game. Activision are Activision are the ones who gonna, um, um, you know, decide what you know what techniques, what tactics are they going to be implementing in game, and just the studio are going to be just the ones who's gonna create the game, and the tactics of you know the money I'm making schemes, of th the tactics are going to be on Activision's side, and and yeah. If, 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 if Trier wants this mechanic to be in, Michael's going to be the one who's gonna control it. And, you know, he, he, Michael can cancel it, and it's it's absolutely um, it's it's dead. I think Call of Duty's gonna die pretty soon, and you know, and it's gonna be loaded up with a bunch of new people like kids and and yeah, the, the kids that doesn't have any idea what Call of Duty was really was before and just it, it's sad it's sad it's going to be gone and i hope there's going to be a new um, military fps shooter out there that's gonna compete them and yeah that's it that's it for this video and i um i hope you i hope you like this video and whatever and um and have a good day see you in my next video